Welcome back. Today we're reacting to Hamimations. My brain is smooth. My imagination by Hamimations. I'm also an animator myself. Let's go. Just turn Hi, on. I'm Bryson. Let okay. me give you some context. Basically, <laughs> I have an overactive imagination, and a well, few yeah. years ago, I made some videos about it. All three of those videos are old and bad, and you do not have my. I have watched those old videos, but, you know, it's been a long time. Permission to watch them. All you need to know is that I'm going to talk about the strange things my imagination oh, yeah. has made up, and it's going to be weird. Imagination is for dork! Zip it. <laughs> to keep with tradition, we'll start by talking about this channel's mascot, the ham. This little <laughs> guy. Yep. Hams are little just, cutie pies that make friends with everyone. Get my angle they right. can roll around and just kind of do whatever <laughs> they want. Perfect. Most hams are kind of small, but I imagine some I'm of them to be huge. Damn, big. boy, he's thick! They Perfect. like to bounce around, and they can be really stretchy. <laughs> also, they can be really fast and roll around like Sonic. Hams are one of the many creatures me and my <laughs> friends made up together. Some of my other favorite creatures include Scrumbos, Grompers, the Pithecus and its evolutions, Klishkins and the Gremlins. I imagine them to. Ha I have one question. Is the ham the most powerful thing in the universe, next to the Pipicus? And you know. Hang out on big floating gardens where they do magic and play games. Hocus pocus, you've lost your focus. <laughs> if dinosaurs didn't go extinct, wouldn't it be really cool to see how the dinosaurs and humans coexist? What if the dinosaurs got domesticated? There could be pet dinosaurs, and they could help us build society. Imagine having a big pet T-Rex that acted like a dog. <coughs> and if they were like dogs, there could be different breeds of the dinosaurs with different colorations and stuff. <coughs> and instead of driving to your friend's house, you could... Flying on a pterodactyl would be cool. Just ride your pterodactyl there. I mean, I really hope the dinosaurs would be nice, but we have an entire movie franchise yeah. about how that's not the case. <coughs> Jurassic Park. I'm also gonna put him in the put him in the de description. And also, this description. Also, Matt Pat made film theory made a video about that. Jurassic Park would have been the safest, you know. Instead yeah, of swim. Ocean life could Can you imagine if there were just big whales floating around and there would be little fish chilling out in the trees and you could fly around on dolphins? But also, that would be really scary if there was a great white shark that wandered into a neighborhood. <laughs> Me and my friends used to always make comics about the ham together, but we have a lot of other characters. One of my personal the favorites wizards. were the wizards. Sometimes. I wonder if. I wonder if Gandalf can beat this guy. The wizard. The wizards would be good guys that would help our heroes, while other times they were evil and would turn people's heads into onions. Onions, you say? You never know. Onions. <laughs> <laughs> and also, onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers, ogres have layers. You get it. And also, we got turned into an onion. But my favorite part would be when the ham would defeat the wizards and would Perfect. use their hats to become a wizard ham. I have a question. How powerful would that be? The ham wizard. How powerful is it? Also, you can't capture a ham. The only way to have a ham stay with you is to befriend it. Well, yeah. Even if a bad guy put a ham in a steel box, the ham would just... So, are hams liquid? Also... A ham is the best judge of character. Oh, That's God. why the best heroes in the land are often accompanied by hams. But, if you have a ham and start doing bad stuff... You hit a bird with a rod. You don't know, I would not do that, because again, that, I don't know the content. That's that, what's gonna happen. It's either gonna attack me, or a tower swarm of them are gonna attack me. The ham is gonna leave or, you until you not. start being good again. 
And that's why almost no YouTubers have a ham. Because all YouTubers are terrible people. <laughs> nah. Except me. My ham never leaves me because I'm so much better nah. than all of you. And I'm the best person to have ever existed on the earth. Kneel before me. Wait, no, come no, back. I'm sorry. And if you like the ham <laughs> or me, then you'll be happy to know that we got two new big I'm really One of the ham and one of me. <laughs> they are much bigger than last time, too. The ham has the ability to read your soul and judge your Freak purity, off. and the Bryson is a functioning voodoo doll of me. Watch! <laughs> this is the best merch I've made so far, and we worked really hard on it. So if you want to support me, scroll down to the merch shelf or link in the description and buy a plush. And if you buy both, you get a discount. Thank you. Back to the video. When I was younger, I would imagine these tiny toy Wait, airplanes that, well, that would be cool. I could sit in and fly around in. I wonder if the Red Baron has something to do with this. Can you imagine action. how fun it would be to float around in your own personal little airplane? You could rig it up with nerf guns and have a dogfight. I might need to make my own story time animation soon. Or or sooner or later. Sometimes. I Skies. <laughs> I also used to imagine peacefully floating around in little hot air balloons mm. to explore the skies. Wow, I cool. would imagine me and my friends visiting the floating gardens that all the creatures hang out at. But again, floating around in hot air balloons would be really dangerous if sharks could fly. But sharks are scared what? of killer whales, so maybe you could make the hot air balloon look like an orca to keep the sharks away. <laughs> also, did you know that dolphins can beat up sharks? I swam with a dolphin once. <laughs> dolphins are Jesus. very smart, and because of this, they know where to hit the shark to deal maximum damage. They punch the sharks in the gills with their noses. <laughs> If we take a look at the dolphin's brain, we can see all these smarty, wrinkly bits throughout the brain. This allows the dolphin to have I'll big brain side. thoughts, <laughs> like punching the sharks in the gills. Genius However, move. if we take a look at my brain, <laughs> we can see that there aren't any smarty wrinkles. It's totally smooth. Since there aren't any big brain thoughts happening in my brain, it leaves space open for other thoughts to happen, such as, What if sharks could fly? I've been And what if you can become, what if you can become a cartoon in real life? That is a question I need to know. A chart that, that explains the three different <laughs> types of brains. At the bottom, we've got smooth brains. Brightons. No smarty wrinkles means that no big brain thoughts can happen. However, smooth brains have a lot of imagination. This is the kind of brain I have. <laughs> In the middle, we've got a caveman no brain. This brain has wrinkles, no. but it's kind of small. This no. brain has... That, that would be normal people. 50% intelligence and 50% or, imagination. Yeah. Ooga booga, pee pee doo doo kaka. At the top, we've got big brain. big brain. It has wrinkles like the caveman brain, but it's much bigger, meaning a lot of big brain thoughts happen yeah. in this brain. Yeah, right. However, big brains have no imagination. They just do math and go beep boop, I'm smart, science, ha ha, big brain time. However, there is a brain of myth above all the rest, known as huge brain. These which brains is have a hundred percent intelligence and a hundred percent imagination. That's like two hundred percent. People you. who have this brain have the biggest big brain thoughts of Boy, all time, yeah. and they also have imagination. They're basically just like you and me. I have one question: Who would be better? Who would be? Who would win in a fight? John Cena or Omni Man? I got that. Except they are better than you and me in absolutely every way. <sighs> if there are any huge brains watching, I am scared of you. Be I don't trust you. Stay away. Another note. Hold Since on. I have a smooth oh. brain, whenever <laughs> I see someone who has a huge brain, I get really discouraged because they're so much smarter than me. Yeah. It just makes me feel inferior. <laughs> <laughs> but according to the graph, I am inferior. Wow. So feeling inferior is the correct response. <laughs> really? He's gonna cry about it. All right, the moral of the story is hams are adorable, sharks shouldn't fly. That's like a tongue twister. Sharks shouldn't fly. Oh, the moral oh, of the oh, story oh. is hams are adorable, sharks shouldn't fly, and I have smooth brain. Hmm. Also, I love you and subscribe. Goodbye. Magic. <laughs> Onions have layers. What? Ah! Wow. I'm really excited. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And also, have a nice day.